Good morning. Good morning. You have a good sleep? Yes. You wake up good? No. The right side of the bed? No. Or on the left? No. <laughs> okay, good morning everybody. Today is already Wednesday, it's July 10. And today is the birthday of Aunt Normie. Happy birthday if you are listening uh, to us this morning. Happy, how old is she now? We don't know. Secret. Okay. Anyway, today, today the gospel comes from St. Matthew. The gospel of today's Mass from St. Matthew chapter 10, verses 1 to 7. And this one uh, tells a story of how our Lord um, commissioned His apostles, how He, how he called them okay, one by one. So Jesus summoned His 12 disciples and gave them authority over unclean spirits to drive them out and cure every disease and every illness. And the names of the 12 apostles are these. First, there was Simon called Peter and his brother Andrew, James, the son of Zebedee and his brother John, Philip and Bartholomew, Thomas and Matthew, the tax collector, James, the son of Alphaeus and Thaddeus, Simon the Cananean and Judas Iscariot, who betrayed Jesus, 12 of them. Jesus sent out these 12 after instructing them thus, Do not go into pagan territory or enter a Samaritan town. Go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. As you go, make this proclamation, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. So here in this gospel today, short as it is, you have the summary of the calling and the commissioning of the twelve, the first, uh, the first apostles that our Lord had called and commissioned to perform His task, the task of converting sinners, the task of converting people and bringing them to God. Right. So He told them, "Go after the lost sheep of the house of Israel." And on other occasions, our Lord, when encountering the apostles by the lake of Genesareth, he, he, he told them, Come, uh, follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. Yeah? Uh, and our Lord would sometimes say, um, you know, in other ways, how he called one by one the twelve apostles to follow him and to be part of that grand mission of proclaiming the kingdom of heaven is at hand the kingdom of heaven is now here among you okay? so they were commissioned to announce the good news that the kingdom of heaven is at hand now the beauty about all of this is that this is something that not only the apostles were called to do you and i all of us, all the baptized children of God, have received exactly the same commission. No less, no more. We received exactly the same mission of going out into the world proclaiming the good news. See? We were all called by Jesus Christ by virtue of our baptism. Uh oh, Ava is not happy. Okay, give her her milk. <laughs> okay, we were all called by God to perform the same thing within our own uh, uh, situation and calling uh, on earth. Right. So of course the first apostles and uh, and uh, every other ordained bishop and priest have what's called a ministerial priesthood we we have what's called the common priesthood the common mission of belonging to this family of god commissioned to bring other souls close to god okay and that is something we had received by virtue of our baptism by virtue of our right of belonging to the family of god and the privilege of being uh, being heirs to the kingdom of heaven. Okay? That kind of a privilege entailed a responsibility, an obligation that we 
do not go to heaven alone. See? We are not going to heaven alone. Jesus wants us to share heaven. The mere fact that he asks us, he tells us, okay, the, tell the whole world, proclaim to the whole world, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. It is for us to avail of it. It is for us to share it with everybody else. Okay? So that is our calling. Um, the priests and the religious people, they do, they, they perform this calling, they carry out this calling according to their specific ministry. So priests would have to minister to the to the faithful in general by administering the sacraments, right? Uh, by performing the sacrifice of the mass. Now you and I, all of us, young or old, okay, uh, uh, married or otherwise, all of us are called to the same mission, but we perform that mission according to our own circumstances in life. So if you're married, a father or a mother, you perform that mission within your own family. Okay? That's basically what I'm doing here. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully, uh, we're doing a good job, huh, mommy? And then, and uh, those of you who are, who are professionals, who are working with other people, your environment, your place of bringing people to God will be through your work. Okay? So the family, through our work, through our communities, in politics, or wherever we are, we have to be apostles to other people in those environments. At school, the same thing. Okay? We have to bring God to all of these people. We have to bring God because that is our kind of uh, discipleship. That is the kind of commissioning that we have received from Jesus Christ. And you know where the best place to start is? Be an apostle to others? Where do you think might be the best place to start? Huh, Joe? Where? I can't hear you. Here, right here at home. Right here at home with the family, with your brothers and sisters. This is the first place where you have to be an apostle. Where you have to minister. Okay? to your own family, to your own brothers and sisters. How? Number one, through your relationship with each other, to build good, harmonious relationships with each other. Number two, by, by doing your part in the family, right? Doing your chores, serving others by doing your chores, serving others by catering to whatever needs they might have, right? What else? How else? By showing good example, right? Showing good example. We have to show good example to one another. That is how we become an apostle to others. Okay? So show good example to each other. And that's another way to become an apostle to your own family. And that is many times what we do with other people as well. Sometimes being an apostle to others doesn't have to entail preaching and talking. Sometimes the best way, depending on the environment, the best way to do uh, to be an apostle is just to give good example. See, I mean, modesty aside, let's name a few things, right? Um, we have been giving that example of how to receive our Lord in Holy Communion uh, with more devotion by kneeling down and opening our mouths and receiving our Lord by the tongue. Look how many people have followed suit in our own parish. Right? Without us having to talk. But just by giving that example, many other people have been following that example. Now, that is discipleship. Right? In a community that has been, in uh, many more ways than one, confused about how to deal with our Lord in the Eucharist. Right? But we are being disciples. Of Jesus Christ in our own church in our own environment by giving good example now you can do those kinds of things in whatever environment you may be in that is our form of discipleship and that form of discipleship is no less demanding than that of a priest or a nun see it is and are uh, it is very demanding what do you think 
how do you think uh, parents are? I mean, to become a parent is very demanding. See? But that is our kind of discipleship. See? We're performing our calling as parents. Beginning from engendering as many children and welcoming as many children that God uh, would give us in the family. Okay? And, and uh, showing the example to other people that, hey, having a large family is possible and is a beautiful thing. It's not only economically viable, it is the best thing you can ever have. <laughs> best thing you can ever do as a family, right? To have many children. So there are many ways, many, many ways by which we can... Uh, uh, use our own lives as a testimony to others about the kingdom of heaven being at hand. First, the kingdom of heaven being at hand in our own souls, in our own lives. And, and, and that is what we manifest to others. Okay? So we have to do our part. We have to do our part of making Christ known to others of telling other people, of expressing to other people, and being a <clears throat> testimony, standing in testimony to others that the kingdom of heaven is indeed at hand. We cannot shrink this responsibility. We cannot dodge, we cannot hide, right? Because that will mean that we are not fulfilling our baptismal calling okay? uh, to proclaim that the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Okay, that's it. That's it for us, everybody. Have a good day. And uh, we're off to Mass. Hope to see you tomorrow again. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 <laughs> Uh-oh. Now it doesn't want to end.